Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with an Inkscape tutorial number four, the zoom tool. All right, as we get started on working on learning how to zoom in Inkscape, I'm going to go ahead and draw a couple of objects for us to zoom in on. There we go. Alright, so the first thing I want you to notice is that there is a zoom tool in the toolbox and you can select that by pressing F3. Um, you can also click on it. It's really simple to work. Once you have the zoom tool, all you have to do is left click to zoom in and right click to zoom out. There's a, several other ways to zoom um, in Inkscape, and I'm going to teach you a couple of the best ways to do that. One way you can zoom in is in the bottom right corner. Is There is where it says Z, and it gives a percentage. There's an up and down arrow that allows you to zoom in and out. That's not the best way to zoom in and out. I don't think but it is there and it is an option for you I'm gonna go over some of these um, the tool control bar up here at the top the first button we have here is to zoom in so you can just click that and it will zoom centered screen you can click the one next to it and it will zoom out center screen you have the one-to-one -one zoom, the one-two zoom, and the two-one zoom. Now these can all, in specific instances, be beneficial. The quick keys for each of these are one, two, and one. All right, next we have zoom to fit selection in window. So we select an object. Let's go ahead and select this rectangle. And I'm going to press 3, the number 3 on your keyboard. And it will fill the screen with that selection. We're going to go back here and select the zoom tool again by pressing F3. You'll notice the next one is zoom to fit drawing in window, which is 4. So we're going to go ahead and press 4. Now it will select and put in the screen every object that you have in your document. So if I had 100 pieces and they're all over the place, it will zoom way out and show you everything. The next one is zoom to fit page and window, which is five. Now here's your page. All right, it, regardless of the size of your page, it will zoom out. And even if your page wasn't visible, like you did not have visible borders or visual page, it'll still zoom to that. Zoom to fit page width in window. Sometimes that can be good, especially if you're working on a horizontal piece. And then you have previous zooms and next zoom. So that's about it for the tool you can also oh there's one important thing when you're zooming a lot of time especially if you're using the um, plus and air minus which is the quick keys for zooming in and out it takes you center screen unlike where my mouse where it will zoom not so much center mouse but it's trying to go that direction what I want you to understand is that sometimes you'll need to move. So if I was zooming in on the star and it might not be directly centered, I can press the center mouse button. So the wheel on your mouse, if you click and hold, you get this arrow. It's like a four sided arrow that allows you to click, hold, and drag so you can adjust to where you're zooming. The final thing I want to talk about with zoom is let's go ahead and click in on this. All right, so we are at the very corner of this star. I want you to notice that how crisp this is. 
that is because we're in a vector program. The vector software allows us to zoom in almost infinitely. And right now we're 25,000% zoomed in and it is still super crisp. So let's just go press five back to the artboard and there you go. That's the zoom tool. Please watch the next tutorial in the series, tutorial number five, circle tool. Thanks for watching.